Aiden, who's a commentator and lawyer, to uh, discuss this in more detail. Thank you for joining us uh, this morning, Stephanie. Um, you've, in many ways, been at the centre of this conflict and this conversation that's been going on between uh, trans rights and women's rights. Um, just explain to us how toxic uh, this kind of debate can be. The debate is very toxic and overly toxic, in my opinion. Let me make one thing clear. I believe that everybody has a valid contribution to make to this debate. It is a legitimate topic to talk about, and there are extremes of views on both sides of this matter. However, where I draw the line is in personalising the debate and in attacking people and their families. That is not on from, from, from either side. Yeah. Isn't that part of the problem, though, Stephanie, what's happened? It feels like... We, transgender people are without a doubt some of the most vulnerable members of society who have a, a journey which is unimaginable for anybody who isn't in those shoes to understand. And yet the, the transgender community has become characterised as being activists first and for, foremost and, and using um, measures and means that uh, try to shut down the debate. I believe there's a problem on both sides of the debate in that regard. There is what we, well, you talk about here on GB News, the cancel culture. Mm. I'm not going to deny that there are some members of the transgender community that advocate that approach. Just for the avoidance of any doubt, I am not one of them. Mm. Likewise, though, it has to be said on the opposite side of the debate, they are not shy of uh, cancel culture. And certainly the uh, what I like to sometimes call the free speech warriors are anything but free speech when the topic does not agree with their point of view. So there is a problem there. But I think what has to happen is the tone has to be lowered. Um, let me just set out briefly where I come from in this debate. Many people describe me as a transgender activist. I think that's not true. I have my views, but I'm certainly not an activist. Um, however, most people watching this will probably be surprised to learn that when it comes to these views, to coin a phrase, I agree with Penny Mordant. I do not support self-ID. I believe that, yes, people like me, there is a biological basis for how we are. Uh, and yes, Am I a woman? Yeah, I believe I'm a woman. But am I a biological woman in the same way as I'm being presumptuous now? Your good self? No, I'm not. And I think it would help if people on our side of the debate, if you like, just accept that reality. There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Nothing wrong with yeah, it at all. Yeah, I think all. the thing with yeah. Penny...